Hi, I'm Paul. Here's how to pre-fill values in Smartsheet forms. Stick around until the end for some key things to remember when doing this. Let's say you have a list of people to manage contact with. You can provide everyone a customised link to the same contact form that automatically populates their individual name and details. To do this, go to the sheet you want to collect the data in. I'm going to send out a link to a review, so I will go to the review sheet. Get the URL for the form, so in the menu bar select Forms, Manage Forms. Hover over the form you want to link to with pre-filled in details and copy the form URL. Paste the URL into a text document, spreadsheet or word processor and at the end of the URL type a question mark. Now go and find the field that you want to populate. Edit the form and find the field that you want to autofill. I'm going to use first name. If the field label is blank, just use the column name. Place the column name or label at the end of the URL. Type an equals sign. And then after that, enter the value that you want to set this field to. For example, I'm going to copy the name Jean. To add a second field in the URL, add an ampersand to the end and then find the next field that you want to pre-populate. This time, let's choose last name. Here, last name has a space in it. You will need to replace that space with a percent twenty, otherwise the link will break. Put the equals sign in again and then go back to the value you want to pre-fill the last name with. Copy that and paste it in and again there is a space there. Replace that with percent twenty. Now you can copy the URL and paste it into the column on the order sheet and then whenever you want to send out a review to that customer you can simply click the link and it will pre-populate the review with their details. So we just add product, rating and go grab some review text and hit submit. Top tips to remember. If you need to submit similar data again you can hit the browser's back button to reload the form with the previous values. Then you can overwrite what you need and resubmit the form. This is even true if Smartsheet is configured to show a new blank form after submission. Just hit the back button, click on the address bar and hit return. If the field label has been used, you must use that rather than the column name in the URL and the case must match. And the third thing to remember is a pre-filled query string will not work if users have to log in after clicking the link. Authentication clears any extra data in the URL, but it will work if you are already logged in. For more tips, including how to pre-fill multi-select values and how to build the URL with a formula, check out our next video.